Hey everyone, so recently I was listening to a podcast and it was talking about Deuteronomy 6. And um, for those of you who don't know what Deuteronomy 6 is, um, it's kind of a famous passage for talking about how we are supposed to talk to our children, about how we are supposed to point them to God in every situation, when we're standing up, when we're sitting down, whether we're walking, whether we're eating, whether we're laying down, any time of the day we're supposed to be talking with our children about God. That's our role as parents is to point our children to Christ. And um, recently I was talking with a friend of mine and she said, you know, it's hard to do that. You know, it, it's not something that I naturally do. And, you know, I got to thinking, I don't think that's something that any of us just naturally do. So I wanted to kind of think through, you know, what are some things that we can do that can help us uh, to talk to our children about God? I mean, it can be something as simple as, Listen to the beautiful birds that God has um, put in our lives, you know. Uh, oh, look at the beautiful sunshine today. Isn't, isn't God good? You know, saying something so simple as that just points to the fact that the beautiful things in this world are things that are of God. Now, you can get a little bit deeper than that, um, and there will be times for that. There are also times where I think... I think you just need to start talking. Kids are full of questions. Um, for instance, the other day we were riding in the car and my son from the back of the car goes, mommy, why do we have eyebrows? And I'm like, I don't know why we have eyebrows, you know? So I just kind of started talking, you know? I don't know why God gave us eyebrows, but one thing that I do know is that, um, you know, and this is how I'm explaining it to him. I said, well, I guess when you lift your eyebrows up, that shows surprise when I see that your eyebrows are down you know I can tell that you're very serious or I can tell when you're sad or I can tell when you're happy your eyebrows do different things based on your emotions so I'm in the car with my son and I'm looking at him in my rear view mirror you know making funny faces at him we were laughing and having a good time and you know did that really do a whole lot? I think it did. And what it's doing is it's just showing them that God has a purpose for everything. And even though mommy might not know all of the answers, because we're not supposed to know everything. You know, the Bible says that there are secrets that we are not supposed to know. But there are things that we can just start talking about with our kids, you know. And um, I think that's the main thing is just to start talking you know you might stumble over your words um, you might talk too long and they might just glaze over but at least you are trying to instill in your child a love for God and that's what Deuteronomy 6 is talking about is how we are supposed to talk to our children about God every single second of every day um, sometimes it can get even a little bit deeper for instance um, the other day we were out in the garden and we were planting um, some of the fresh plants for the spring and my son asked me he said mommy why are there weeds oh my goodness like that just opens up a whole conversation you know so I was able to talk to him about how when Adam sinned in the garden God cursed the ground as a punishment to Adam and said that now we are responsible for um, when we toil in the ground, that's a reminder of how Adam had sinned and how much we need God. And, um, you know, so then he asked, well, like, what is a weed? And, um, oh, the thing that we really started talking about was he said, well, mommy, we're able to grow good things, and but there are still weeds. And I said, yes, you know, um, God has still given us the good things to eat, and to, but we have to toil harder now because of the sin. And then we started talking about the wheat and the tares and how there are people who believe in Jesus and there are people who do not believe in Jesus and how it is our responsibility as Christians to show others the love of God and to point them to God and to show them the grace and the love of Jesus. You know, so we just had this wonderful conversation and did I stumble over my words? Absolutely. Um, but do I think that it planted some seeds in his life? Absolutely. You know, I really think that he gained a little bit of an understanding with that. And I am so thankful that God gave me that opportunity. And it's one of those things that I could have just said, well, that's how God made it, you know, and let it be. But because I really wanted to take the time to instill in him just God's grace, God's salvation, um, God's love, we were able to talk about so much more than just weeds. And um, I think that's just what we need to do we just need to start talking it might be awkward it might be um, like we don't know what to say and honestly if we don't know what to say it might be because we are not in God's Word 
So um, those who teach also learn and or those who learn teach and so one of the ways that you as a mom can really start to learn your Bible is being in God's Word and then teaching it to your children. And when you teach it to others, that is when you yourself learn it and really apply it to your lives. So like that illustration of me talking to my uh, son in the garden, honestly, I, that did probably almost more for my heart and the opportunity that I had as a parent to be able to talk to my son. It just reiterated in my life how much God's grace has affected me and how much I love God, you know? And so I really just want to encourage you to be in God's word because you're not gonna have anything to regurgitate to your children unless you are truly in God's word and you yourself are learning because when you're learning, then you're more apt to teach it. And if we don't learn, we're not gonna have anything to teach. So I really just wanna encourage you to really get into God's word, to delve into it and just, to share it with those that are around you. Whether you're a mom or not, there are those that are around you that need Jesus, and it is our duty as Christians to point them to Christ. So um, I hope that this was encouraging to you. You know, like I said, please just start talking to your children, even if you feel awkward or you feel like you're not, um, you're not worthy of it, or maybe you don't feel like you know enough. Just start talking to your child in something as simple as wow, God made today beautiful. That just points them to Christ. I mean, children are born with blinders on their eyes. They, they, they don't know that God did all of this for them. And if we don't tell them, they're not going to learn. So I really just want to encourage you just to really start talking to your children, whether you feel like you are capable or not. God gave you those children and he did it for a purpose because you are the one that has the capability of reaching their hearts. So um, I hope this was encouraging to you. And, um, you know, like I said, those who teach learn and those who learn teach. And so I am kind of doing this video almost more for myself because it just, once again, if I'm sharing it, it's re-solidifying it in my own life. So um, I hope this was encouraging to you.